In this example, we are going to be talking about um, vectors, and we're going to be basically drawing some pictures and um, trying to figure out some measurements in this picture. Picture is going to be everything, so that's going to be the most challenging part, I think, and then we'll try and do some math on it. Um, so we have a ship that leaves a port that is bearing 28 degrees and travels 8.2 miles and then turns due east and travels 4.3 miles. How far is the ship from the port now? And what is the bearing from the port? So, picture's everything. So, we have a ship that is going 28 degrees. And so, when you draw this, remember that a bearing, if they don't describe an east-west, like they're going to south, if there's no measurement on it, then it's from the due north. So, your ship is going to be going 28 degrees from due north. And so... Say it's something like that. And it traveled 8.2 miles. And then it turns due east and then travels another 4.3. So let's say that's 4.3. All right. And that's where the ship currently is. So how far is the ship from the port? So we're looking at this distance right here. So let me do that in a different color. So we're looking for that distance so we don't know what that is and what is the bearing from the port so the bearing from the port is going to be this whole thing actually so um, right now we know that the bearing originally was 28 degrees and we got to figure out what that angle is so we can add the two together to figure out what our bearing from the port is all right so um we don't have a right triangle, so we're going to have to do, use law of sines, law of cosines to start to figure some of this stuff out. Um, some of the information that we have is if you go straight across here, the fact that it said it was due east was actually very helpful because now we can cut this straight across and make a right triangle. So just this triangle, we can grab that angle and the 90, and we can figure out what this is. So if we take 180, subtract 90, we got 90. And then if we subtract 28, that leaves us with 62 degrees, which is good because that angle will help us find this angle. So if we take 180 minus 62, that leaves us with 118. And we have everything we need actually to figure out what this piece is because you have yourself a law of cosines right here. If you have two sides and the angle in between, that is very much a law of cosines problem. So let's do the law of cosines. So we would be looking for this, so we would take x squared is going to equal 8.2 squared plus 4.3 squared minus 2 times those exact same two numbers, 8.2 and 4.3, and then times cosine of the angle in between. So that all just gets thrown into the calculator, and that's going to equal roughly 100 and 18.84 and a bunch of values after that and then we'll square root that in its entirety let the calculator do all of that for you and the length is about 10.9 miles so it says how far is the ship from port it's about at 10.9 miles from the port all right so i'm going to get rid of that and actually throw the answer in there because what we're also looking for is that angle right there. So to figure out that angle, that now is a law of sines problem because we have one full fraction. We have the angle and the side across from it. So we can create sine of 118 over 10.9. That's what I mean by one full fraction. And then we're gonna do this one. So sine of theta over 4.3. So we're going to cross multiply and have 10.9 times sine of theta equals 4.3 times sine of 118. We'll divide by 10.9. And then we're going to have to do the inverse sine of that. So uh, theta is going to be the inverse sine of whatever that turns out to be. So 4.3 sine of 118 over 10.9 and so theta 
is roughly um, 20.4 degrees when you plug that in the calculator, but that's not the actual angle because we're looking for bearing and bearing is going to be, um, we're looking for bearing and bearing is going to be from the north. So we want this whole angle right here. So our bearing is going to be these two angles added together. So it's actually going to be 48.4 degrees. So our bearing is 48.4 degrees and our distance away from there is 10.9. All right, and that was a navigation problem involving some laws, law of sines and law of cosines.